Hi boys and girls, this is Elvin Mark and you're tuned to my art channel. Welcome one and all. We are back here in Chinatown. Well, at the edge of Chinatown at a place called Pearls Hill. The hill was formerly named Mount Stamford after Raffles but was renamed Pearls Hill after Lieutenant James Pearl, commander of the ship Indiana. For a long time in the mid 20th century, the formal Criminal Investigation Department or CID headquarters was located right here. If you'd like to catch a glimpse of what operations was like back then inside this pre-World War II building, you might want to click on this episode link over here. This historical building has been transformed into an art space containing vibrant startups, music studios, workshop spaces, alfresco dining options, amidst many others. From the intro of this episode, we know that this is situated hidden atop a hill, just above the bustling streets of Chinatown and behind People's Park Food Centre. 195 Pearl Hill Cafe is one of the tenants and they serve up a pretty unique menu consisting of pizzas, salads, satay and coffee. Today, I'm here for their satay. I was told that they got their satay making training from the legendary Apui from Tiong Baru. Apui is no longer with them, but rest assured that the quality, size of cuts and the gravy remain legendary. This is a very rare clip of the legendary Apui during his short stint here at 195 PHC. So I spoke to one of the owners, Ben Tan, and he mentioned how one of the goals here was to create a space for customers and families to come and spend more time making meaningful conversations with each other and exploring the physical space rather than just looking at their phones. things I had to relearn about the satay. The first is that traditionally, gravy was served with grated pineapple. Can you already imagine the flavour? And secondly, that traditionally, the cuts are pretty chunky in size. These days, many satay vendors buy their pre-skewered satays from factories skewered by machines, not by hands. And they are tiny and cube-like, not like this. I appreciate the fact that I'm brought back to the origins of things every once in a while here in modern day Singapore. And that there are people around who still care about taking the time to do something or craft something really well. Even something as seemingly simple and small like a stick of satay. Knowing this sustains and inspires what I do in art and even here on YouTube. It is time to make a gouache of the satay. Thanks for sticking around. If you're new here and you like to be notified of new clips coming out, do remember to subscribe. Like and comment only if you like my episodes to tell YouTube's algorithms to reach out to like-minded audiences. 
quick tip for those of you who love sketching food. If similar looking portions of your meal is placed in front of you, you might want to ask for it to be separated onto another plate. That way, you don't have to paint similar looking objects multiple times and you get to eat while you sketch. Do drop by 195 PHC if you're near the area to explore the expensive verandas and courtyards and of course, sample the satay. If you see me dine on board the A380 business class, I had a very well designed satay on board too. And this is comparable to that. The pineapple in the gravy makes it even better. This is so good, this combination of pineapple and satay sauce. This is the secret, guys. Once again, this is definitely worth checking out a blast from the past with a very wholesome fruity flavour. Almost nowhere makes satay like this in Singapore. I'm definitely coming back for some more of their pasta. Well, it is time to check out This is Albert Mar exploring deep into Singapore from the lens of an artist. Continue to eat healthy, stay healthy, be kind, and until the next episode, ciao ciao!